heating. This one divides the output from the crystal to give a pulse every second. This one counts the pulses. You can see the lights coming on in sequence. Finally, this one converts the count to a random looking array of lights. Arranged in the right places though, these create the familiar digital numbers. The idea of a digital display wasn't new. It had appeared several times in the clock's history. This is an illuminated night clock from the 18th century. Electromechanical digital clocks started becoming popular in the 1960s. But although digital displays tell the time very clearly, they do still have their drawbacks. is uh, 5.49 and then if I be there by about 6.02 it won't start before then but then leave me with 13, 13, no no it must be 13 minutes excuse me madam I wonder if you could tell me what time it is yes love it's 10 to 6 10 to 6 oh good heavens Today, dial watches are back in fashion, but now they're all quartz controlled. The crystal, the battery and the electronics are almost the same as in the digital watch. But now there's a tiny electric motor driving the hands round instead of the liquid crystal display. Although the quartz watch is very accurate, it is still affected by temperature. I set two watches to exactly the same time a few hours ago and I put one in a low oven. If I take it out again now, um, it looks a bit of a mess. <clears throat> Let's take this bit of plastic off. And the liquid crystal display goes completely black. It stops working above a certain temperature. But I think if I, if I leave it to cool down now, you should be able to see that the um, quartz has been affected by the heat and they no longer tell the same time. Of course, watches don't usually get quite so hot, but even small day-to-day -day temperature variations do mount up. Keeping the quartz crystal at a precise even temperature greatly increases the accuracy. This is a device for timing the accuracy of watches and it has to be accurate to a hundredth of a second a day. It still works by quartz, but there's a tiny heating element inside which keeps the crystal at a very even temperature. I'm going to use it to compare the accuracy of a mechanical watch, a quartz watch. This is one of the most accurate mechanical watches ever made. It cost £8,000 and it is a work of art. If I put it on the block. have to wait uh, a few seconds before it starts to read. And you have to average several readings. Over about a minute I worked out that this one was averaging about two seconds a day fast. Now if I compare this with a one pound quartz watch, it's on a different setting, you can see this is averaging less than a second a day fast. In general, quartz watches can be about ten times more accurate than mechanical ones. Some time ago, I bought a cheap digital watch from a filling station. It worked perfectly for about four months. 
and then the battery failed. So I sat about to repair it and realised that the cheap plastic case was actually physically welded together and there was no way you could actually get at the works. So I set about it with a hot scalpel blade and halved the watch and I eventually got to the watch compartment and found that the replacement battery I'd got was much larger than the original. So I then had to modify the inside of the watch to accommodate the new battery and that meant making new contacts for it etc. And eventually I got it together, it took about two and a half, three hours and the watch worked perfectly and I was very pleased, very satisfied. It's lovely repairing something which was never designed to be repaired but unfortunately my satisfaction didn't last very long. The following day the strap broke so I had to throw it away, much to the amusement of everyone in the workshop. I have to admit I don't wear a watch myself but in comparison with my own clumsy timekeepers it's impossible not to admire the things. There really is something very satisfying and elegant about the way they work. It's a shame, really, they cost so little. This one only cost 60p. The people seem to regard them as almost totally disposable. Watches certainly aren't the treasured possessions they once were. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <coughs> Wasn't it shut before? I thought... <laughs>